Hi, welcome back to the channel. Semiconductors are the hottest space in the stock market right now. It started with a severe shortage problem that has now turned into a national interest and an economic opportunity. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the key reasons why semiconductors are poised for multi-year growth and how you can profit from this growth. So let's get right into it. The catalyst that triggered the chain reaction was COVID that made work from home the default. But even before that, the semiconductor market was already riding on massive demand from multiple sectors. Examples are cloud technology that was powering applications such as Amazon, Facebook, Google, the mobile phone market, 5G, auto industry, cryptocurrency, and gaming markets. And with COVID, the demand just exploded with people all over the world suddenly needing to upgrade their old laptops and home PCs to work productively at home. On the supply side, semiconductor manufacturers can't simply ramp up production immediately to meet the demand. Firstly, they were already running at maximum capacity and introducing new capacity has a long lead time. Wafer manufacturing is complex with hundreds of subprocessors and the setup of a new wafer fab can easily take a few years. That is why chip makers have been saying that the current shortage will remain for at least a few more years. At the same time, the shortage issue has exposed a major risk in the entire supply chain that is of national interest. While Intel is one of the biggest chip makers, the majority of the chips are manufactured outside the US, mainly in Taiwan, South Korea and Southeast Asia. And Taiwan's TSMC is the leader in wafer fabrication and builds the most complex chips for the likes of NVIDIA and AMD. Also, China has been building up its semiconductor capacity and technology with $150 billion committed by the government. They are the biggest customers of vital wafer manufacturing equipment such as applied materials and LAM research. The US has responded to this situation through its Chips for America program. The US Senate has just passed $52 billion to shore up the semiconductor manufacturing capacity in the US. It looks like the technology race is on. As a smart investor, the right question to ask is, how can we benefit from this technology race? And what are the best semiconductor stocks positioned to profit from the boom? Are we in it early or are we late to the party? I have been analyzing technology stocks to seep out the profitable and those with high growth potential. Now, it is about picking the best stocks and building a portfolio of high growth semiconductor stocks. As a start, to get the ball rolling, I'll create a draft portfolio tracker and have it linked in the description box below. You will be able to download it for free. I'll be monitoring the portfolio, adding and removing stocks as we go along and provide a weekly update. I'll dive deeper into the portfolio and also share my investment philosophy and strategy in a separate video. I'm very excited about this investment opportunity as it has an interesting story to tell. And it is also a fantastic opportunity to learn investing. I hope that you will join me in this investment journey. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.